Most people assume that eating meat, dairy, and eggs are natural, yet we have been domesticating and breeding them for thousands of years. The red jungle fowl originates from Southeast Asia and is nothing like the chickens today. Before the 1950s, chicken meat and their eggs were considered a luxury, only being eaten on special occasions. It was during the 1950s that farmers bred chickens to become much larger. The dramatic increase in growth is mirrored by a much shorter time needed to bring chickens to market today. In 1955, it took 70 days to let a chicken mature to sell for meat. Now it just takes 47 days. Chickens in the meat industry are sentenced to a lifetime of suffering because of genetic manipulation that forces them to grow rapidly. Most have difficulty walking and often collapse under their own weight. One study found that when given the choice, Broiler chickens will even choose to self-medicate with feed that contains painkillers, even if that feed tastes worse than the regular feed. Farmers also often use antibiotics as growth agents, along with breed selectivity. Chickens raised for eggs is even more cruel and unnatural. When baby chicks are only a few days old, they are sent to a hatchery. They are sorted by male and female. The males are put into a grinder because males are seen as useless as they do not produce eggs. The female chicks typically have one-third to two-thirds of their extremely sensitive beaks seared off without pain reliever. Free-range chicken labels are misleading. They are kept in gigantic sheds that are packed to up to 20,000 birds. These are windowless and highly controlled environments. Nothing natural about it. Because of the concentration of the animals inside the house and the fact that they are generating manure and urine, this builds up high concentrations of ammonia inside the poultry house. Ammonia is an irritant to the lungs, to your throat, to your eyes. It is a um, volatile compound and it does cause respiratory illnesses. As soon as you turn on the road, you can smell the odor coming from those chicken houses. You know, it's chicken waste in the air. Particulate matter is being pulled out of those chicken houses and into the air. As more and more of these large industrial poultry developments are built, people are beginning to see this isn't the family farm that used to be next door to me. Now I have an industrial facility next to me. And is this safe? What is in the air that I'm breathing? What's in the water that's getting into my well? Conventionally raised factory farmed eggs come from birds who are kept in wire battery cages stacked by the thousands on top of each other inside warehouses without fresh air or sunlight. Hens ovulate for the same reason female humans do, to reproduce. In nature, wild hens lay only about 10 to 15 eggs per year. It is a common misconception that chickens are always just naturally giving us eggs because modern egg hens have been intensively bred to lay between 250 to 300 eggs per year. Overproduction of eggs is responsible for numerous disorders in hens, including often fatal diseases of the reproductive tract. Egg binding occurs when an egg gets stuck inside the hen. As with prolapse, egg binding often results from pet hens being fed too many fattening treats. Extra body fat puts pressure on the muscles responsible for pushing the egg out, preventing the muscles from doing their job. The days of small farms and homesteads have nearly diminished. You are being lied to, and you're being fooled into paying extra money for those quote-unquote free-range organic eggs. But what about the health and nutrition of eggs? The USDA says that eggs aren't healthy or safe. If you are one of those people that has an egg or two for breakfast, you may want to reconsider your choice. According to Freedom of Information Act documents, the US Department of Agriculture warned the egg industry that saying eggs are nutritious or safe may violate rules against false and misleading advertisements. Egg corporations aren't even allowed to say things like eggs are an important part of a well-balanced healthy diet on an egg carton because it would be considered misleading. According to the USDA's National Egg Supervisor, eggs contain significant amounts of fat and cholesterol and therefore can contribute to the leading killer in the United States, heart disease. Now you know the truth. The truth is that eggs are not natural 
or necessary for your health. You now know how cruel this is. Why is the world encouraged to celebrate this? It's nonsense. This is why I demand World Egg Day and the entire egg and chicken industry should be canceled.